Good morning, Lancers, and welcome back to this week's edition of Lancers in the News. Let's get started with some announcements. This Thursday, March 18th, ASB is hosting another virtual movie night. Look out for the link in your emails. The movie will be Napoleon Dynamite. Do you have a special talent you'd like to showcase? Well, lucky for you, auditions for Almost Got Talent are now open until Saturday, March 27th. Let's take a look at how they will be conducted virtually this year. Almost Got Talent is going virtual this year. Here's Mrs. Escobar to explain how it will be conducted. Students are going to submit their auditions with a video, and those videos will then be screened for the top 15. We will broadcast those videos on a Zoom webinar on April the 9th at 7 o'clock. And from there, our three Amat judges will then determine who our top three winners are. So there's no entry fee this year, but we do still have our cash prizes. So uh, first place is awarded $100, second place is $50, and third place is $25, along with trophies. And those will be distributed the Monday after the show airs. And what do you expect from this year's talent show? Well, this year's talent show is going to be a little bit different than before. Obviously, it's virtual, but also we wanted to give our performing groups an opportunity to share what they've been working on. You'll have a, a number presented by the dance team, one by the chamber singers, one by the Lancer band. Um, I'm hoping to get the faculty involved. Also, the artists will be doing a showcase, and I would like to also have the drama club be a part of it. So don't forget to send in your video submissions by March 27th and stay tuned for Amat's Got Talent streaming on Zoom April 9th at 7 p.m. This is Monica Hernandez reporting for The Lance. Hobbies have been a very important aspect in the lives of teachers and students this year. Let's see how some of them have been keeping busy. The entire Amat family now shares the burden of having nowhere to go and nothing to do during this quarantine. Now can be the perfect time to try something new. Let's take a look at what a few Lancers have been doing to keep themselves busy. Sophomore Esteban Nieto has begun the hobbies of basketball, yoga, and reading. Have you learned every anything new from these hobbies? Um, I've learned that just because you don't like something in the beginning, uh, you could end up getting accustomed to it and getting good at it later, like once you try more. Just, I don't know, it, it's like a mental break, like a big mental break, relaxing. Senior Andrea Zavala has picked up the hobby baking. She has baked many goods such as cookies, brownies, cake, cupcakes, and even cake pops. And what made you want to start baking? Um, mostly because I was really bored and like there was nothing to do. And what do you like most about baking? Um, I don't know. For me, it's like really relaxing. Like, I like baking alone. So like, it's just kind of like my me time. I don't know. Not only are students picking up hobbies, but so are teachers. Miss Jacqueline Rogers, an English teacher here at Bishop Amat, has begun a new hobby for cooking, but also has made time to deepen her love for reading. Uh, what would you uh, recommend? To someone what are some tips you would give them if they wanted to start some of the hobbies that you've been taking so i think the biggest thing if you're going to start cooking is planning you have to like have a plan because many times i'll go to make something and i'll be like oh my gosh we don't have that and it's just not as easy to go to the store these days you know like it's kind of more of a production this is monica hernandez reporting for the lance the battle for canes and chick-fil-a has been an ongoing debate for a while now let's take a look at what our students have to say about it the Chick-fil-A Canes debate rivalry has grown massively over the years. We interviewed a couple of students asking on which restaurant they prefer more. Chick-fil-A. For Canes more? Chick-fil-A for sure. We then asked what their go-to order was from their preferred restaurant. The 12 count nuggets with the uh, fries and the lemonade. The box combo. But gotta substitute the slaw, you know. You know, like coleslaw. How come you don't want me, man? A spicy chicken sandwich combo with a sweet tea and uh, Chick-fil-A sauce on the side. To take matters in our own hands, we decided to go to both restaurants and give our own personal ratings. That's good.
first one wins. First one. Or the first one. The second one. Yes, oh, he's putting in your head. <laughs> Let's get you caught up with this week's edition of sports. The girls varsity and junior varsity volleyball programs competed at St. Monica High School in a Delray League match on Saturday. Both Lady Lancer varsity and JV teams won in four sets. On Saturday, the boys and girls cross country teams raced on campus as the boys took on Bosco Tech and the girls raced St. Paul. The Bishamont girls varsity defeated St. Paul with a score of 18 to 45 and the boys varsity team won against Don Bosco with a score of 18 to 40. Another great news, the girls soccer program opened up the season on the road at Western Christian High School and came back from a two goal deficit to win five to four. For the boys program, the Lancers defeated Western Christian 12 to one. Way to go Lancers. Bishamont Varsity Football has their first game of the season this Friday at Cathedral. Scores and updates will be available on our Twitter at Amon Sports. That's it for this week, Lancers. We hope you have a wonderful weekend.